Hello, and welcome to tools that you can use in your work, at home, in lots of different occasions. Today, we're talking about perspective coaching. We're talking about perspective coaching because regardless of the situation you're in, this is a possible tool that you can apply. You can apply it if you've never heard of coaching, if you love coaching, if you've heard of someone who's heard of someone who is a coach. So you can apply it. A lot of times we try to give you skills that you can use as a manager, as an individual contributor, someone who is running the household at your home in order to help with things like sanity and calmness and perspective. So today's exercise is called perspective coaching, and I'll do a little overview about what it is, and then I will invite a special guest who will demonstrate with me. Perspective coaching. The first question I'll ask you, and it's going to be kind of funny that this is the first question I'm asking you, is what is a situation that's frustrating you these days? So not like level 10 frustration and not level one, but something in the middle. What's a situation that's frustrating you a little bit these days? And go ahead, type it into the comments. If a situation is frustrating you, here's the idea. You've probably thought about the situation. You may have ruminated about it in your head. It's something that's present for you. It's something that's on in your head. So what is something that you could try that's a little different from what you've tried before? This specific exercise today is called perspective coaching. So let us know, let us know in the comments what's frustra frustrating you and we'll show you a something you can do. So with perspective coaching, I'm gonna give you the overall framework and then we'll dive in as an experiment. Perspective coaching is about taking that thing that's frustrating you a little bit and seeing, hey, can I try on a different perspective? Like, can I try it on like a sweater and see it, what that perspective does in terms of making me think about it a little bit differently, maybe making me feel about it a little bit differently? This is a technique that, use, that is used a lot in coactive coaching, which is a phenomenal training program. I first got a strong taste of this from my friend and co-author, Margaret Greenberg. She uses this all the time. And she has, you may know how friend, friends who are coaches, they will sometimes coach each other. And she has used this successfully time and again to help me out of a situation in which I'm frustrated. So perspective coaching. To do this, I would like to invite a guest. Now, you may not have seen her before, but you certainly know of her because she has been behind the scenes on these 20 minute webinars since the beginning. This is Mandy Sija, and here we're gonna say hi to her. Hi, Mandy. Hey, Sonia. Mandy is the head of client success here with us at Silicon Valley Change, and we just thought we'd do it more like a talking back and forth. So all Mandy knows is that there's a situation that's a little frustrating for her, and I'm gonna walk her through a series of questions. Mandy. What is top of mind that's something that's a little frustrating for you? It's, uh, it's frustrating that um, between all like work and house and kids and husband, I don't really have time to do things that I like to do, like read a book. Um, I have so many books on my shelf that I want to read, but I can't get 10 or 20 minutes to myself to read one. Uh, and I'm really glad you brought up that example because I think a lot of people who are here with us today have a very similar, how can I get time for myself situation? So first question, before we dive into the perspective coaching, why is this important to you? Either the taking time for yourself or having time to read a book. I find that I get more frustrated with the people around me and maybe more short, short deferred and uh, when I don't have time to myself, uh, when I do have time to myself, like everybody benefits um, because uh, I don't really like the phrase happy wife, happy life, but like, you know, happy person means happy people around you. Because your attitude is better towards them. I, I feel this just personally. I feel the same way as you. I feel that when I am at my best, when I've gotten enough sleep, when I feel calm about things, when I can leave my work at the desk, I just I'm so much more present with my family. Definitely. Okay, so for the first perspective, you are, have told me that you don't feel that you have time for yourself. You'd like to do more reading. Let's call that perspective the, the dutiful perspective. So for example, the perspective that I am doing my work, I am doing the things in the home, I'm taking care of all those things. So it's I'm doing my duty. So that's one perspective. As another perspective, I'd like you to try on almost like a sweater. What about the fun perspective? So you, if you were thinking about this situation of I want to do more for myself or read more, how could you, if you tried on a fun perspective, what would you think? 
Well, that would look like, okay, well, this is fun for me because I get to read books and like, that is my favorite thing to do. Um, since I could, you know, since I could read, um, I would read for hours if I was uh, able to. Um, and then another fun thing is that after I was done with all my to do's, if I had some time for myself, I would be way more likely to say like, Hey, let's go to the pool or let's play a board game. Not be like, I'm too tired and drained to do anything. <laughs> so it'd be fun for my family too. So here's what I'm learning from your fun perspective. You actually know exactly what to do to get more time. You want to do the reading that you have a very specific direction. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And then let's try on the future perspective as another perspective to try on. So if 80 year old Mandy is talking to you and you tell her 80 year old Mandy, I don't quite have enough time for myself. What should I do about this situation? What would that future perspective say to you? I'm pretty sure she would tell me I need to prioritize better. Um, laundry can wait. It doesn't have to be folded immediately after it comes out. It's okay to have dishes in the sink. Instead of taking those 10 minutes to tidy up, take those 10 minutes to read. And um, yeah, that's, yeah. And she would tell me that's important because otherwise you won't be here in 80 years. <laughs> You need that for yourself in order to do the other things. Okay, okay, super. So we've done three perspectives so far. The dutiful, here's what I do perspective, the fun perspective, the future self perspective. And then here's, I always love to end with a quirky one. So would you please look outside your window and tell me the first thing that you see? Um, I see our beautiful new deck and our patio furniture. So I know this is gonna sound a little silly, but what is the beautiful new deck and patio furniture perspective on this same situation? Um, they agree that I should be reading more because then they would be utilized by me and not be lonely on the patio by themselves. So, so they, 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 a, they would look forward to my company. They have a very personal and uh, selfish perspective. They want to be used. They want me to be out there reading because that's where I would do my reading. <laughs> uh, We've just looked at four different perspectives dutiful, fun, future self, and then this patio furniture perspective. What do these tell you about yourself or about the situation? Um, well, that I need to listen to 80 year old me and take the patio furniture's feelings into account uh, more. Uh, <laughs> I don't want them to be sad. <laughs> and then I, Whenever I feel like I'm sacrificing by doing X, Y, and Z for my family, I'm actually sacrificing their happiness on some level because I'm not taking that time for myself. So I need to do something about it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, both for, for walking through those, but also for bringing up something that is on the minds of a lot of us who come to these sessions. So thank you so much. That is, I'll just, I'll round off. I'll, I'll go back to here to round off. Thank you so much, Mandy. This was Mandy Sija. Thank you. This time. I will round this off by saying that is an example of perspective coaching. What did we do with Mandy? Thank you to Mandy. What we did is we said, what's something that's frustrating you? Then why is that frustrating you? Why is that thing actually important? And then we tried on like sweaters, four different perspectives. So be silly about it. Be free about it. Try it on yourself. Try it on a good friend, but don't be very, uh, we have um, a discussion in our family. It's called rule number six. Ben Zander created it, which is just be silly. Don't take yourself so seriously. When you're trying this out, be playful, enjoy it. If you have takeaways that you want to share, please type them into the comments. We'll see them both live and in the recorded version. We're delighted to spend this time with you. We hope you have a fun time using perspective coaching on something that's just a bit frustrating for you. And we look forward to seeing you again. We will be here every day, Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific. Until next time.